Adolescence is an interesting stage of development at any rate. You've got teenagers going around sort of saturated with hormones, their peer groups are kind of undergoing a whole separation from parents and exploring and experimenting and trying to separate from their parents in ways that often include some fairly sort of aggressive arguments with parents. My mum saw me and my brother having a fist fight in my house. I don't think I could ever like, live with myself again if I, if I had to put my mum through that. But I think it's getting closer and closer to that point where like, we're both getting to a certain age. We're both like, kind of restless, kind of rowdy, and like, where it's not even about play fighting anymore. I think as soon as a teenager is hitting, hurting, or really scaring either you know, their, their younger siblings, their parents, then it's really, it's not acceptable and a line needs to be drawn. Hitting, pushing, throwing things around, smashing things up is not okay and not normal teenage behaviour. There's broadly two groups of teenagers who are violent to their parents. And one group seems to be those who've been quite uh, in some way exposed to abuse in their childhood. So that might be domestic violence between the adults, violence directly towards them. His dad used to always hit him and his mum and dad used to always fight. And now like, he's in prison for violence because that's all we ever knew. So the other group uh, are teenagers who have parents who, though generally very uh, well-intentioned, are very permissive in their parenting style. Just because of the culture we live in, teenagers tend to sometimes be very over entitled. And if their parents give, you know, give them low responsibility and don't set much boundaries for them, then we can end up with teenagers who are, who are really out of control. Very often, the more violent a peer group that a teenager hangs about with, the more they're likely to be violent and aggressive at home. A parent does need to take back up their power as a parent, which doesn't mean screaming at and hitting the teenager, but it does really mean like drawing firm lines and taking on a very parental role. So listen to their perspective, but don't just go along with it. No need to sort of mollycoddle. Me arguing with my mum, she has a short fuse as well, so it was always loggerheads. And the only way that I could ever calm down is if I had to like walk out the house and just go for a walk. It's hard to ask a teenager to manage their frustration if the parents aren't able to manage theirs themselves. The parent always needs to be bigger, wiser and kind. Quite often arguments are because teenagers just feel like their parents want to control them for totally malicious reasons. So it's important for parents to be really clear that, you know, it's because I'm afraid of this happening, it's because I care about you. I think a lot of parents feel incredibly guilty and self-blaming and embarrassed about their teenagers acting up and acting out. Parents are often not the cause of the problem, but they may well be a very important part of the solution. For a family to get on, I think you need to compromise and you need to meet halfway and you need to stop and actually listen to people because then it will get you a long way. Keep reminding your teenager that you do love and care about them because I think during adolescence it's very easy for teen parent relationships to just become like a battlefield. And the teenager to feel incredibly got at and rejected by their parents and, and to be rejecting in return. Mm -hmm.